about separating mixtures using magnets. For our lesson today, dear learners, please refer to your quarter one, module six, week six. This lesson is all about different techniques in separating mixtures using magnets. Before anything else, let us read first the concept. In our everyday lives, we do things that result in combining materials like food preparations and many other things. Sometimes, mixtures need to be separated for a purpose. And separating mixtures is not as easy as to think without using mechanical separation, which involves the use of tools such as magnet. This lesson will provide you with information and simple activities that will help understand how magnets help in separating mixtures and their importance in our daily lives. Okay, be so before going to the main topic, let us read or answer some exercises. Okay, complete the table by identifying the magnetic material and non-magnetic materials from the given mixture. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So we have here heterogeneous mixture, magnetic materials, and non-magnetic materials. Number one, key, peanut, rice. Number two, torn paper, paper clips, and plastic spoon. Number three, we have sawdust, concrete nails, and pencil. Number four, we have thumb tacks, cotton, and crayons. Number six, we have sulfur, iron fillings, rice hull. Number six, we have sand and chalk powder. Number seven, we have plastic glass, stainless fork, and porcelain plate. Number eight, we have nickel, rubber bands, feather. Number nine, plastic buttons, a screw, and pebbles. And for the last one, we have safety pins, thread, and seashells. Okay, congratulations, dear learners, for answering the activity. Okay, let us now go to our lesson. Okay, a screw and iron are magnetic, while rubber band, pencil, and plastic are non-magnetic. Magnetic attraction is used to separate magnetic materials from those that are not attracted by a magnet. We have here some benefits of separating mixtures using magnet. Number one is food processing. Metal contaminants like staple wires and pins accidentally dropped into the food products. Magnets can detect and remove the metal contaminants while it's still along the food processing line. Food industries use magnetic separators and metal detectors to make sure food and pharmaceutical products are free from metal before leaving the manufacturing facility to ensure the health of consumers. And the second one, Magnets are used to salvage iron scrap and steel. Iron and steel are sold as scrap metal and brought to the junkyard for recycling. Okay. To obtain the substances we need in mixture, partic particularly heterogeneous mixture, we can use some techniques to separate them. One of these is the use of magnet. A magnet is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field is invisible but is responsible for the most notable property of a magnet. A force that pulls on the other ferromagnetic materials or magnetic materials such as iron, cobalt, and nickel. 
It also repels non-magnetic materials. These are the materials that are not attracted to a magnetic, such as plastic, rubber, water, and others. Magnetism is a force that certain kinds of objects, which are called magnetic objects, can exert on each other without physically touching. You can test whether an object is magnetic or not by holding another magnetic close to it. If the object is attracted to the magnet, then it too is magnetic. Do you know that not all metals are magnetic? Examples of these are aluminum, copper, lead, and brass. They are resistant to magnets because they are weak metals. Okay, let me check if you really understood the lesson. Let me answer the first activity. Okay, so we, we are going to perform an activity. You are going to perform this uh, for one class period. Okay, we have some materials, a small permanent magnet, styrofoam, glass, toothbrush, bottle opener, skillets, door hinges, soda can, and gold earrings. Okay, number one procedure, gather the needed materials. Number two, list all the materials to be tested in table one. Number three, Predict first if the materials you have are either magnetic or non-magnetic based from their physical appearance. Write your prediction in table one. Now, try to test if the materials are magnetic or not by testing if they can be attracted to a permanent magnet. Okay, so here is the table that you are going to use. Okay, so very good. You have finished your activity. Okay, let us now go to the second one. Okay, fill in the blanks by arranging the letters of the correct answer. Number one, the materials that are not attracted by a magnet are considered blank. Number two, of course, that certain kinds of objects which are called magnetic objects can exert on each other without physically touching is blank. Number three, the blank is used to separate magnetic from non-magnetic materials. Number four, steel cabinet, iron grills, padlock, and doorknobs are considered blank materials. And number five, eraser, eyeglasses, Leaves and leather are blank by a magnet. Very good. You have finished your second activity. Let us now go to the third one. Answer this crossword puzzle. For down number one, ideal for separating mixtures of two solids with one part having magnetic properties. Number two, material that attracts or repels object. Number three, example of magnetic material. And for a cross, number four, materials attracted by a magnet. Number five, materials not attracted by a magnet. And number six, example of non-magnetic material. Congratulations, class. You have made it. You have successfully answered your crossword puzzle. Okay? And for the next activity, read each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, some mixtures are need to be separated without whether homogeneous or heterogeneous. What is used to separate magnetic materials from those that are not attracted by a magnet? A. Hand picking. B. Magnetic attraction. C. Shiving. D. Winnowing. Number two, magnets attract or repel materials. Which of the following materials is attracted by magnets? A. Ball. B. Cotton. C. Plastic bottle, 
Letter D, scissors. Number three, there are some materials not attracted by magnets. What do you call these materials? A, conductor. B, cotton. C, magnetic. D, non-magnetic. Number four, mixtures can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. Which of the following heterogeneous mixture can be separated by magnet? A, chalk powder, grain shaft. B, iron fillings, baby powder. Letter C, common salt, sand, pebbles. And letter D, stone, sugar, and water. And the last one, number five. You want to separate iron nails from toothpicks. Which tool are you going to use? A, filter paper, B, magnet, C, piece of paper, or letter D, strainer. That's amazing class. You have all answered again. Okay, and for the last activity, in a short coupon band, draw a magnet and make a poem or song. Please refer to your module for the rubrics on how to rate your work. Okay, congratulations, my dear learners, for finishing all the activities. Please refer to your module for the key answers. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you again on our next meeting. Okay, for now, we would like to thank the development team for this lesson. And now here are the references that we use in developing the lesson. You may consult them if you want to make some further readings. Okay, so thank you very much. And once again, I am Teacher Sonia. Have fun learning!